Today on 5 Minute Monday, we'll talk about the most well-known podcast monetization strategy, the host read ad. Welcome to 5 Minute Mondays, where we bring you the best tips and strategies for building your podcast in five minutes or less. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Now we are in the middle of a nine-part series about podcast monetization. We're talking about the pros and the cons of each of the currently popular strategies to help you decide which, if any of these, are right for your podcast. And today, we're going to talk about the strategy that many popular podcasts use, which is host read ads. Now, if you've ever heard a commercial play at the beginning, middle, or end of your favorite podcast, one that was also put together by the host of that podcast, then you have listened to a host read ad. And companies value the connection that a podcast host has with their audience. So, they're willing to compensate that host in exchange for their personal endorsement, often in the form of an ad that can drive sales or traffic to that company's website. And the best host read ads, the ones that actually move the needle, take on the personality of the podcast host. So they sound less salesy and it sounds more like a recommendation coming from a friend. So that's how they work and that's why companies find them valuable. So how, as a podcast host, could you get compensated for these host read ads? So let's say that you want to do host read ads. You want to promote a company or a product. How would you actually get paid for doing that? Well, there are three main ways that companies compensate or pay podcast hosts. And so I'm going to cover one in this episode and then the other two strategies in the next two podcast episodes. All right. So the first way that podcast hosts can make money with host read ads is by utilizing the CPM model. Now, this is really common in the radio industry where companies will buy ads based on the total reach of those ads. So how many people listen to them? And so if you had a radio station that reached 10,000 people, then maybe you would pay $200 to reach those 10,000 people. If you had a radio station that reached $100,000, then you'd pay them 10 times as much, right? And so that model has certainly carried over into the podcasting industry. And if you're curious what CPM stands for, it stands for cost per mill, which mill is just the Latin word for a thousand. So cost per 1000 impressions. So to give you an idea of what this would look like in a podcast setting, if you charged $20 CPM to do a host read ad for somebody's product, then that means that you would earn $20 for every 1000 downloads your episode receives within a set period of time, which is typically anywhere between 30 and 60 days. Now, if you have one of the top rated podcasts in the world, garnering tens of thousands or even millions of downloads, then this CPM ad model works out pretty well, right? Because when you start to add up 10,000 times 20 or 100,000 times 20, that can quickly become meaningful income, right? Simply by agreeing to run a host read ad your podcast pays for itself and you make a pretty penny on the side. And there are even some middlemen companies that have sprung up like Midroll, which will connect larger podcast audiences with advertisers looking for podcasts to sponsor. But there is a caveat to this strategy, something you should be aware of, and that is that companies like Midroll and many of the companies that are looking to sponsor podcasts will not really work with you unless you're getting at least 50,000 downloads per episode, which means you have to be in the top 1% of podcasts to even qualify to work with some of these companies. Now, you can still use this monetization strategy if you have a smaller audience featuring host read ads in exchange for CPM compensation, but it's certainly not ideal, right? There are far better ways of profiting from the same ad, two to be precise, and we're going to cover those on the next two episodes of the podcast. But in summary, Host read ads are the standard approach to monetizing a podcast audience. If you're in the top 1% of all podcasts, then the CPM model will work well for you. But if you're not in the top 1% of all podcasts, you should probably look to a different monetization strategy. Well, that's it for today. Hit the subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube or subscribe to the 5 Minute Mondays podcast in your favorite app to squeeze even more podcast related content into your life. I left a link in the show notes to a new blog post we just put out that covers monetization strategies if you want to peek ahead and see what's coming up. And if there's something you want me to talk about on a future episode, then just click the link in the show notes to submit your question. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.